Hi Capricorn, welcome back. This is your weekly for May 12th through 18th. Um, I did film this already, but I'm redoing it because I just wasn't satisfied. <laughs> so, you're going to get two, two weeklies for this particular week. So, congratulations, you and Sagittarius. Um, I think there was another one I might redo, but anyway. I went over the planets in the first one, so I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to pull Oracle cards, um, but I will say our full moon is on the, um, in Scorpio on the 18th. And Mercury's in Taurus. Venus is moving into Taurus after the 15th. And Uranus is in Taurus. Saturn and Pluto are both retrograde in Cap, um, Capricorn. So with that Earth energy, we should be feeling pretty stable and grounded, hopefully, um, towards like the middle of May. So, this is going to be a relationship spread. It can apply to any relationship in your life, romantic, work relationship, friendships, you name it. Take it how it applies. Take it how it resonates. Don't try to make anything fit. One side is going to be your side, uh, you, and the other person is going to be your person. I mean, the other side is going to be your person. Um, they can flip-flop. So, if one side isn't you, the other side may be you. It may resonate now, during this week, after this particular week. It may not resonate at all, so check your moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs as well. If you don't know how to do that, I have a link um, showing you how to do that in the description. Three more shuffles for Capricorns. And Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right. Ooh -wee. Overall theme of the reading, the Tower in Reverse. Scorpio energy also could be Aries with Mars. In the reverse, though, I think someone's probably resisting this change. The change is in inevitable. The tower is inevitable, right? Um, somebody's clinging to outmoded values or outmoded ways, not wanting to change or, or not seeing where they need to change. Being stubborn to it, I think. Being like um, willingly oblivious or just like ignoring the obvious. Um, but there's bitterness and blame in response to this change. Someone's not taking this change very well and looking for someone to blame. Having a hard time accepting it, coming to grips with it. Um, something could be over. You could be blaming yourself. Um, one of you, you a cross watcher somebody involved in this situation this is the overall theme of the reading um somebody feels at fault for something but it doesn't necessarily mean that because the tower fell it was your fault um you're never entirely you know the cause of something like that dramatic okay so the relationship situation hierophant and revolt reverse the lack of progress a lack of partnership, rebellion, somebody's breaking the rules, somebody is resisting, um, resisting, um, like rebellion in the sense of, like resisting their higher self in a way, like, um, you know how like preacher's kids are always just like bad like that like you know right from wrong and you're just doing bad for whatever reason just doing wrong could be abuse of power problems with education criticism criticism of self just disappointments and poor advice I feel like somebody's giving themselves poor advice or just ignoring the advice of their higher self just being stubborn. Ooh. Okay, Capricorn. 
the mental space of you, the hangman in reverse. What the fuck is going on? Neptune, Pisces energy. Um, somebody is having a hard time letting go, detaching, having a hard time um, letting things be what they are. Somebody's being selfish with the hangman in reverse. Materialistic, lacking perspective. Um, I feel like holding on to not seeing a, a new way of doing things, just holding on to outmoded values, outdated do, ways of doing things. And the Hierophant talks about tradition. So with this person, it's like you're rebelling against tradition, but um, your way doesn't work either. So what the hell are you going to do? If you're not going to do it, if you're not going to do it this way, you got to have some type of um, vision or some type of game plan. I feel like this person is just stubborn and doesn't know what they want to do, what they want, or how to go about it. You can't make a plan if you don't know what you're planning. This is a spiritual pause, though. In the reverse, it's someone being naive, lacking awareness, lacking perspective, lacking vision, clinging to the past. That's, that's their mental space. We're going to clarify these cards, too. Emotionally, they're all over the place as well. This is sporadic effort. It could be deception. They could be being deceptive because they're not being true to themselves. With the Hierophant in reverse, that's deception. It could also represent um, high volumes of ideas, thinking. I mean, um, but this is the emotional space, so I feel like... Um, I feel like this person is trying to trick themselves into believing that their emotions are something else. Like your intuition tells you one thing and you're like, oh, that doesn't mean that. It means this. Like you're trying to trick yourself into into, into your uh, complacency, thinking that this complacency is okay, into thinking that not changing is okay. Like you're playing a mental game with yourself. Mm, that's icky. But the emotional space, let me see. Fear of losing a relationship. Okay, I have fear of losing a relationship. Um, yeah. The Three of Cups in Reverse is your behavior, how you're um, coming off. You could be partying too much, like spending too much time hanging out, like overindulgence, drinking too much, get, not getting enough sleep, not getting enough water, not getting enough exercise. You may need to pay attention to your health. You may need to be around actual friends. I feel like maybe you're around people who are not really friends, just like superficial. Um, forgetting about your responsibilities, needing rest and time to yourself. Um, I feel like you're not being responsible with where you put your attention emotionally as well because you are suppressing a lot of things that you should be addressing your person mentally hmm interesting the page of wands in reverse um this represents bad news setbacks <clears throat> Someone struggling with communication, someone being mm, a little immature with communication, passionate, but immature. Um, this is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, someone who doesn't listen. This also represents delays in plans, delays in travel. This could be something, um, this is what's on your person's mind, or if this is you, this is um, representing what's on your mind. There's some type of delay here, um, maybe with travel plans, or there's no communication taking place. 
Probably because this person is over here in denial. Not even in, re in real denial, just trying to trick themselves. Um, that's what's on your mind. Emotionally, I feel like you kind of know what you want. And you've made a decision with the two of swords in reverse. This is Moon and Libra. Mm. Procrastination and music. So, okay, this particular card in the reverse, emotionally, this is your emotional space or your person's. They could be confused. Um, they could be lying to themselves. This card represents lies and deceit. They could be lying to themselves about their emotions. You both could be lying to yourselves about your emotions. I'm being childish. <laughs> Grow up. Being blind to the facts. Um, I feel like that's the same kind of energy with this hangman in reverse. Like acting like you don't see things for the way they are and trying to trick yourself mentally but this person could be confused about their emotions or acting like they don't understand their emotions as well hmm they're coming off secure though and stable possibly a little bit stubborn um they could be financially secure um they could be a father or father father figure <clears throat> this person could be um yeah they, they probably appear more emotionally secure too than they actually are this is aries and taurus energy they appear to be responsible but these two is like yeah i don't know just clarify the left side three shuffles Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right, Page of Swords in the Hangman in reverse. <clears throat> so there is a need to pay attention to detail and the and the thought process um, for whoever this Hangman in reverse is. There's a sense of selfishness, pain, not being able to let go, lacking perspective. Um, but with the page of swords here, there's curiosity. This represents curiosity, um, mental energy. There's a need for fresh thoughts. There's a need to pay attention to detail. So if you're being kind of pessimistic or not being able to let go, being unable to let go of something, Think about it, address it, ask yourself why, why is this happening? Why am I not being able to let go of this? And you will help yourself gain that perspective. Um, but you have to be willing to learn and figure it out for yourself as well. You can't be too hard on yourself. Um, Neptune, this is also third eye chakra, so Waiting on that enlightenment, that spiritual enlightenment, you may need to just pay attention to your thoughts, to pay attention to your thought process, and pay attention to the way you communicate as well with the Page of Swords. Um, it could also be spying. Somebody could be spying the Page of Swords, like peeping, checking, checking out your page on social media or something. Then we have the Four of Pentacles and the seven of swords somebody somebody's being sporadic um not i feel like not like emotionally not investing too much into one thing or person some of you could be juggling people somebody's being sporadic with 
um, the energy they put into their emotions for security because it makes them feel secure it makes them feel it makes them feel like things are in order and structure and balance and it help you know I don't know they maybe have a fear of their emotions um, commitment issues or something but that makes them feel secure it's like a defense mechanism or something And then the Nine of Wands and the Three of Cups in reverse. This Nine of Wands is about... This is my push through card. It's about strength and resilience, Sagittarius energy. But... I feel like this person is like they put in a lot of work and they just kind of want to break um and that's what the excess of partying is like um it's almost like you're almost at the finish line it's so close to being um so close to a 10 you know so close to the end but this person is just like Kind of neglecting their responsibilities with this situation it is a very passionate situation they put in there's been a lot of work put in or a lot of effort or there is a lot of passion here but i feel like with the three of cups in reverse they've just relinquished their responsibilities in this situation um they're not putting in the effort like they should their effort has been very sporadic yeah let's clarify the right side Okay, the page of wands in reverse, we have justice. This came up, justice came up right here too. Who is that, Sagittarius? Someone maybe wants to, someone's thinking about a decision they need to make. Um, justice also represents balance. Uh, balance decisions, um, reconciliation, fairness. Um, somebody probably knows that <laughs> this is Libra energy they probably know that their um, communication is a little bit immature and that it's unfair um, or that it needs to be balanced you could be dealing with a Libra these are both Libra energy there's a lot of earth energy too well this is capricorn reading so with the two of swords in reverse and the six of pentacles um i think maybe you're confused it's in an emotional space you're probably confused about um whether this situation is worth the effort or not because you can probably tell that this person is all over the place and that's probably why you know that this the six of pentacles represents like an equal give and take or a help being given and received type of situation excuse me but you know that there's not going to be you know that it's not balanced now this is your person side Yeah, this represents support and generosity. The Six of Pentacles. So, I think you, I don't know, your person maybe knows that it's time to take action. 
So I don't feel like there's actual confusion at all. This is probably just choosing not to see things for what they are. Not to see that this situation has the potential to be balanced. Um, could, you know, could easily be balanced. It just ignoring the facts is what I get from that. Because these both talk about being balanced and this person is just like, nope, nope, nope. Um, hmm. And then we have judgment with the King of Pentacles. Judgment is about um, Pluto energy. Pluto is in Capricorn retrograde. Capricorn energy with the King of Pentacles. You just see. It's about renewal, re rebirth, transformation, forgiveness, a fresh start. Uh, maybe this person is behaving like they want a fresh start or maybe Pluto is Pluto being retrograde is allowing them a fresh start and um, it will come out in their actions it's about second chances I think maybe they're either reconciling with themselves and possibly wanting to reconcile with you because justice as well justice and judgment I think is definitely about reconciliation Some type of awakening. This person could be financially stable, but they're still ignoring their emotions. I really feel like I still need to know a little bit more about this spread. Let's clarify the left side again. Well, I think I get the hangman. Clarify the seven of swords. The empress. Yeah, I feel like there could be abundance. There could be growth. There is potential. But this activity, this sporadic effort, um, is hindering the growth of this relationship, the abundance of the, the fruitfulness, the fertility of the relationship. <clears throat> the Six of Pentacles. There is a lot of emotions. There's an abundance of emotions that this person possesses. For whatever reason, they're afraid to um, invest too much energy or too much um, attention to them. Yeah, this person is restricted by their ego. Ignoring the obvious. I feel like um, letting their mind play tricks on them. The Six of Pentacles will represent a very healthy connection. Very healthy give and take situation. And the Devil represents the opposite of that. It's also Capricorn. They're ignoring you. <laughs> Basically, they're ignoring your, their Capricorn. Um... <laughs> Um, they're just like flat out ignoring you and they want I think they want to give and receive love from you but they're just ignoring you they're just pretending like you don't exist childish <laughs> so childish um by the page of wands and justice One more shuffle. The hangman. The hangman. Neptune, Pisces energy. So this person is not communicating or they're being childish if they do communicate. And I mean, it, this is a spiritual pause. They're just detached from the situation. Um, I feel like the universe is probably balanced in this situation. Um, this is Libra energy, Hangman, Neptune, Pisces. Um, the There needs to be balance and fairness. Um, the situation is probably just on pause. So your person is 
is probably thinking about either not thinking about it, trying not to think about it, or they're waiting on enlightenment, waiting on a new way to think about it, waiting on fresh perspective. Um, it's like one of you is trying to completely ignore the situation and the other is having a hard time. Or like one is having a hard time not thinking about it and the other one is, I don't know. You're both thinking about it. It's just like one's kind of going with the flow and the other is just like hella resistant. Sacrificing detaching suspension there's delay um, a sacrifice may be needed to break the delay I feel like this person could break the delay by sacrificing their childish communication um, and being fair and balanced making a decision as well <clears throat> to be fair and balanced the situation's on pause either way and your person is thinking about it you're thinking about it too but I think you are trying your best to detach from it and let go um, I feel like you part of you just can't let go because it's a strong connection between you two but you want to you want to let go you want new thoughts you want fresh perspective Clarify the hangman in reverse. The high priestess, yeah. Your intuition, I think it's very strong. More Pisces energy could be cancer as well. Hold on. Yep, more Pisces energy. Um, feel like you have deep emotions, and that's probably why it's so hard for you to stop thinking about it. You have strong emotions for this person. But I think your intuition is telling you to let go, and you are trying to think of, like, get a new, fresh perspective on how to deal with this situation and this person. <clears throat> Clarify the three of cups in reverse. So, let's see. So, you appear to be happy. Um, <laughs> this overindulgence, too much partying, too much drinking, whatever this overindulgence is. You appear to be happy and successful here and courageous. Um, and I feel like you are, but kind of... Just like don't want to deal with this situation right now. Um, I feel like you, yeah, you're taking a vacation from this situation, taking a break from this nine of wands, from the work, from the, the the strength required to deal with it. You're just kind of on a vacation from it right now. All right, clarify King of Pentacles and Judgment. Ace of Pentacles. Yes. Um, I think they want a fresh start. 
They want a new start. They want a second chance. They want um, a renewal here. But I think they're probably too stubborn to ask for it. Um, or feeling too... Um, <clears throat> too proud clarify the king of pentacles let me clarify with this deck <clears throat> clarify the king of pentacles one more shuffle four of swords tried to shuffle High priestess again. <laughs> um, I didn't see this here. King of Cups. This person has deep, 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 deep emotions. Could be dealing with a water sign. Probably a Pisces. Could be another Scorpio. I mean, um, a Scorpio. This is this is Capricorn. One of my hands. <clears throat> This is also Libra and Scorpio MG with the King of Cups and Cancer or Pisces with the High Priestess. Deep emotions. This person, um, I think, is appearing to be very secretive. Um, very, very secretive, especially with their emotions. Um, like, their emotional space. No cups. Like, hella secretive. You know, you definitely can't tell what this person is feeling. So they appear to be, I think, guarded. I feel like very guarded. I think they want a reassessment of this situation. They want a fresh start. They want to plant new seeds um, with the Ace of Pentacles. They want to invest time and energy into this, but their emotions are so concealed and hidden. They could be having a lot of dreams. They could be dreaming about you. Um, like having actual dreams at night or just like you know feeling dreamy about you, you know, in a hopeless romantic type of way all right let's get your advice from the starman tarot deck three shuffles King of Wands, I mean, sorry, Ten of Wands, King of Pentacles, and the Chariot. King of Pentacles came out twice, so. Got a lot of synchronicities here. The High Priestess came out twice. We have two, two, two. The Hangman came out twice. Did the Six of Pentacles come out twice, or am I tripping? No. Um, okay, so y'all know I love the Starman Tarot deck book. So I'm going to read from the book. King of Pentacles. More Capricorn energy. Stable and tenacious, sometimes a workaholic. Refined aesthetic. Commitment to the path you are on. Respect and value the items in your charge um, then we have the ten of wands lighten your load and admire the beauty surrounding you determination to see the situation through to the end make one more good push that's what this nine of wands is really about too um, so I feel like yeah you definitely need to just Go ahead and push through like you're almost there it's not the time to take a break it's not the time to rest it's not the time to take a vacation from your problems um as upsetting as that might you know seem or be or you know suck to hear i understand because i want to take a vacation too 
um, it's time to push through. It's time to step into this King of Pentacles energy and just be tenacious and stick to the plan and push through and, you know, finish this cycle out. It's like one last challenge. You're at the finish line, so it's not the time to quit. Um, and then the chariot. Keep moving. Like, this is all about progress and determination and momentum. Like, it's like building up momentum and then stopping. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, this is cancer energy. More cancer energy. Energy you could have, um, the person you're dealing with could have cancer in their chart. You could have cancer in your chart somewhere. Take charge of your own destiny. Seize the moment and let the momentum carry you forward. Finish what you set into motion. Do, don't hesitate. You can do this. Exactly what I just said. It's not the time to take a vacation. It's not the time to take a break. Um, you got to keep going. You got to keep making progress because the situation is like in progress. As long as you pause, everything is on pause. There's so much pause. The two of swords in reverse. The hangman. The hangman in reverse. So much is like on pause. <clears throat> All right, so let's get your advice. I mean, um, the likely outcome. Two more shuffles. Three cards for the advice. Okay, the Knight of Wands definitely came out in the previous reading. It's about momentum, um, progress in your affairs, moving forward. Even though this is a relationship spread, I don't see this as like the player. I feel like this is just action, taking action and moving forward and being resilient, having strength, pushing through the seven of wands. Being, uh, being resilient, standing up for yourself, standing up for others if you need to, being tenacious. Mars and Leo energy. And, oh, King of Swords in reverse, let's see. Hmm. I think you maybe need to control your temper. You may have a temper about this situation. You may need to watch your thoughts or your tongue. Uh, it's about destructiveness, like head over heart. Um, hmm. Clarify the king of swords. Yeah, you're going to have to balance your thoughts and your emotions because it's like you need to make a decision about what you want to dwell on what you want to focus on you want to focus on these three, three cups right here that are knocked over that don't have shit in them no more or you want to turn around and pick up these two cups and be optimistic because if you don't your thoughts are going to be shitty and your attitude is going to be shitty and if your thoughts are shitty your communication is shitty you could be coming off rude or cruel or angry um, but it's a very destructive nature um, so be mindful of that all right Capricorn that's your reading that was much better hope that resonates let me know if it does Capricorn someone rising Venus and Jupiter check your other placements if you don't know how to do that, check the link in the description. If you want to donate or book a personal reading, that information is down below as well as my Instagram, Facebook, podcast, all that good stuff. Connect with me and until next time, peace, love, and light. Bye.